I had everything planned this week. It was gonna be it was gonna be a fun video. It's gonna be lots of images and B-roll and fun and excitement and stock footage, explosions, all kinds of crazy stuff. But just as I went in to record the very first day on Monday to start talking about my nutrition and going over the list of things that I can't eat because I will get inflammation, the god of irony showed up and my knee blew up again. <laughs> Needless to say, this week has sucked. I've I've hated almost every single minute of this week. I've been stuck in bed yet again. My knee was just as bad as it was a couple weeks ago. I could barely move it. Oh could barely even take any steps. I spent a couple days in bed on medication again. Uh, in fact, my, my even my left foot for two days got really bad too. So that made it even harder to even move around. It's now 2 a.m. on Monday morning. This video is supposed to be up in a few hours to document all of last week to show everyone how it went and how my progress is going in this challenge. <laughs> this is what you're going to get. You get this video. You're going to get me finally at basically 2 a.m. on Monday morning, giving you an update. It's not what I intended, it's not what I had hoped, but it is what it is. This is the first moment this week, since probably about partway through the day on Monday, where I'm pain-free enough that I could make it down to my office to record something and spend enough time editing to upload something. It just wasn't gonna happen unless I did this. And that goes back in part of this whole challenge is not only is it, you know, sticking with my nutrition and exercising as much as I physically can, but the other promise that I made to myself and to any of you that are coming here to watch is that I would make sure that every week there was an updated video released. So I'm making sure that happens. I gotta, I gotta keep my promises. No matter all the different little battles I'm gonna go through and the dark times I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna be honest, I had, I was dealing with a lot of really, really bad depression this week because of it. I wouldn't even say I'm 100% better right now, but I'm definitely in a slightly better headspace than I was a few days ago. In fact, that was the only thing that I shot a few days ago was just how I was feeling at the time. So this week isn't going great so far, and to be honest, I'm kind of struggling with my mental health a bit today. I'm trying to snap out of it, but... So needless to say, this week hasn't been ideal, especially from a movement standpoint. Like, I haven't I haven't done shit. My my activity is next to nothing. I think I'd be lucky if I got over a thousand steps in any day this week. And for several days of this week, it was less than a couple hundred. It was just enough to get me from the bed to the washroom a couple times. That's about it. Of course, the hope is the knee is feeling better right now. I'm hoping when I wake up later in the morning that whatever's left in my knee right now will hopefully have all been healed up and gone. And I'll be able to ramp things back up again. I'll just keep going as best as I can with what my body will let me do. Oh, and what blew up my knee, you may ask? What was what was the culprit this time? I've been really good about like not drinking pop for a while now. Back in my heavy alcohol drinking days, I used to drink a lot of Coke. I used to do a lot of Coke too. But I used to drink a lot of Coca-Cola. Then I eventually stopped drinking regular Coke and I went to Coke Zero. I got used to that. And in the last year, well, over the last, over the last couple of years, I seem to be getting sensitive to caffeine quite a bit. So I eventually switched to caffeine-free Coke. And then eventually I was just like, I gotta stop drinking this shit, period. It's, I'm just drinking chemicals. I gotta stop. I just gotta focus on drinking water. So I've been drinking a lot of water, more water than ever. Like I've been good at drinking water, but now I drink more water than ever. And on Monday this past week, I don't know what it was, but I just had a bit of a craving for some sort of sweet drink. And my parents happened to be here and they had some some sugar-free Pepsis in the fridge and I drank one and by the next morning my knee was completely fucked. So I guess my plan to not drink pop is a good plan in the long run. Looks like I'll just be sticking to water from now on. <laughs> but I do have some good news thankfully. Even though I have been moving around as much as I'd like to, I have been sticking to my nutrition. So I weighed myself earlier today. I did forget my camera so I apologize, I don't have footage of the scale, but my weigh-in today was at 374.3 pounds. Which, if you remember last week, my weigh-in was at 382.9. As I had said, I had had a heavy carb meal the night before, I had a lot of sodium that week, so I knew that there were some things holding some water on me, so I'm not surprised that I've dropped down that much. So we started this whole thing three weeks ago now, I was at 386. I'm at 374 today. Not bad, 10 pounds in three weeks. Again, a lot of that's probably water. Definitely some muscle. 
but it's numbers on the scale going down and I'm feeling good aside from the aside from the inflammation in my knee that keeps popping up it seems to be it seems to be the thing this year it's been bothering me since since the beginning of February just keeps coming and going but you know I'll take that over what I had a few years ago where it was both my feet my knees and my hips that was a million times worse than this so I'll take this little bit of information for now but it's progress right you know, I'm realistic. I'm not expecting over the eight weeks of this challenge that I'm going to make drastic changes to my body and lose 100 pounds and become jacked and shit. Like, that's just, I'm realistic. But, you know, over eight weeks, dropping 15, 20 pounds, maybe 30 if I can really get my intensity up, that'd be nice. It'd be a great, great kicking off point for the rest of the year. In fact, at this point right now, if I lose another 24 pounds before the end of August, if I get down... If I can get down to 350 by the end of August, that'll be 100 pounds in one year. Some days it doesn't feel like that. Some days I have, like, I really got to remind myself how far I've come up to this point. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's frustrating that I've gone back and forth, back and forth a bunch of times. I mean, if you look over, if you look over the course of my life since I was, I think it was like 19 or 20 where I got, I got really high. I was up to like almost 400 pounds, got back down to 220. Then I went back up to, I think it was like 370, then back down to 260, then back up to 380, then back down to 330, then back up to 450. Now I'm down to 4, 370. It's been a lot of loss and gain for many different reasons. But this time, maybe it's because I'm older. Maybe it's because I'm... Maybe it's because I'm more conscious of what time I have left, but this feels like what I'm doing right now is the foundation of what's going to get me to where I want to be without having massive setbacks, at least in the scale department. So I'm just going to keep at it. But I do want to thank each of you who've been checking this out. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the encouragement. It really means a lot to me to to know that some people, whether it is that they are getting something out of it that's inspiring to them, or if it's even just a bit of encouragement for me to keep going, it, it, it means a lot. So I really, I really do thank you. And now the hope is that next Monday when you see the next video, it'll be better. <laughs> I hope there'll be more to it. There'll be more content to it. It won't just be me sitting in a chair telling you how shitty the week went. Yeah. If you can, please like, subscribe, click the little bell to let you know when the next video is out. And even share this and tell your friends to watch too if you feel so inclined. I would appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Monday. Peace. <laughs>